Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and we're really continuing our top 20 by rating uh, one star puzzles but this is actually neither a one star puzzle and I don't even know it's amongst the top 20. And I think I owe you an explanation before we actually look at today's puzzle. So if I actually double check this before I say it, I believe we have already gotten up to um, come on, come on, I've got this. Number 14 with Little Samurai. Now, the next one up is actually a puzzle we've already featured, which is Tree in Summer by Will Power. And as we've already featured it, um, I didn't necessarily want to take a look at a puzzle that isn't as highly rated today. It just feels like we really need to continue the series. But at the same time, I think we owe Will Power another puzzle to be featured, given he's already got so many that are highly rated. So what I've essentially done is I've taken a look at a comment from Will Power on one of his videos, I believe it was the Oppenheimer puzzle, when he actually recommended a total of something like 12 or 15 puzzles from his back catalogue. Just for reference, I mean, I think he's actually published, I mean, he's published an incredible number of puzzles. Let me just double check that. 261 puzzles, which is just absolutely stunning, maybe even staggering, I would say. So I went through all of those puzzles to try and find one with a similar rating, which was 94% for Tree and Summer, and I came across Brickhouse from some of the recommendations that he has made. Now, you kind of see probably a little bit of a dilemma for those of you that are fairly smart and already two steps ahead is, by definition, if I'm looking at the highest rated puzzles, and this one is an equal rating, but it's not amongst the top 20 one-star difficulty puzzles, you can see that this is clearly not a one-star difficulty puzzle. This is a two-star difficulty puzzle, which hopefully we will be able to solve in a decent amount of time. Now, since you're watching this in the future, um, ahead of me recording it, well, not ahead of me, after I've completed recording it, and you can take a look at the bottom, and see famous last words, yes, we will do this reasonably quickly, and you have an hour-long video, you can see it was indeed famous last words and I was unsuccessful, but fingers crossed we'll be able to do it in reasonable amount of time, so something like 30 to 40 minutes will be my personal target for this particular puzzle. Now, one more cryptic comment from Will is, he asked the question, which is, do you get the significance of the reference here of Brick House? And I really looked at the puzzle, and I should probably just put it up now, so you can actually get to see, pardon me, that's clearly the wrong tab since I was actually taking a look at his page. Um, you can see the puzzle now, and, you know, maybe I can see the bricks. You know, you can see sort of long bricks, shorter bricks, long bricks again. But I don't know what he was necessarily referring to, so I'm hoping somebody in the comments absolutely does and we'll spot what I'm not seeing. And if we all fail to actually get the reference, maybe Will Power will be able to explain it to us in the comments at some point. Well, enough of an introduction. Let's take a look at the rule sets for this puzzle. So this is Brick House by Will Power. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply, so that means the digits one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Um, I will point out that we are going to have to start doing some non-Sudoku puzzles that are in the top 20, so keep a lookout for those if you're actually fans of other puzzles. Now, number in cages sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage, and the numbers do not repeat in the cage. So pretty familiar killer cage rules, which means these four digits must add up to 10, these four digits must add up to 30, and we cannot reuse any digit, despite the fact that they are, you know, these two cells could be the same, we are not allowed to have them as the same digit. Now, let's continue with the rules. We have numbers with an X between them, sum to 10. There is a couple of them here that you can see. Numbers with a black dot between them are in a ratio of 2 to 1, and you can see there is a handful of them scattered throughout the puzzle here in the grid. Numbers with a white dot between them are consecutive, and it wraps up by saying not all possible X and dots are given. Just quickly, the white dots, it just means that these two digits have to be one away or consecutive, 
And whatever this digit is, it's got two consecutive digits around it, which is these two. Well, if you want to play this along, and as always, I'd encourage you to play it because that's another phenomenally rated puzzle from Will Power, one recommended by, you know, the constructor himself. Can't really ask for much more, and I'm really looking forward to playing it. And of course, if you do figure out what the brick house is in reference to, love to hear it from you. With that said, let me restart the clock and see how we get on. So, I'm sure as I was explaining the rules, you were also noticing this, that this is, you know, a 10 cage with four cells can only be one, two, three, and four. Add them all up, it gets to 10. And clearly if we use any other digits, it will be too high. Now the white crop key dots kind of tell us a little bit of the order in that it's either one, two, three, four, or the reverse of that, four, three, two, one. I also noticed, there you go, um, I think we can actually place a digit in under a minute. 11 cage, one, two, three, five is the only way we can get to it. Now notice this continuation here, one, two, three, or one, two, three, the other way around. That's got to be the two. That's got to be the five, which is not connected with a white crop key dot to anything. And we have digits in under a minute. This is an excellent start. Now, two 30 cages that are four cells each. They have to be six, seven, eight, and nine. Can't be anything else. And I think that's largely the end of easy cages. Um, we'll come back to this 36 because I think, you know, there, there will be some mandatory digits, for example. I'm, I'm absolutely certain we need to have a nine, probably even more than that. But I'm sure there are many ways of getting to 36. So I don't think this is the next step on our path. In my mind, we've penciled marked a lot of columns six and seven. So that's really the only logical next step in my mind. So we've already pencil marked six, seven, eight, and nine. The remaining digits have to be from one, three, four, and five. These have to be from one, three, two, and four. Yep, yeah, five on a black crop key dot is nonsense. It's either two and a half or 10, neither of which is possible. If it's a one, this would be a two, and this would be an eight. If it's a three, this would be a six, and this would be a four. If that's a four, it could be two, eight, we've already sort of solved that, or it could be four, eight, and two, all of which is possible. We now know that we have a five in the 14 cage. I'm going to remove the corner pencil mark so you can actually see the 14. So there is a five in here for sure. There's nowhere else in column six that it can be. Now, once we've added a five, and the remaining options are one, two, three, and four, we know there has to be a four on the white crop key dot that's joining it. So no four on this side, meaning this has to be a four because there's nowhere else in column six. That's not six, therefore that's not four. That's a two eight pair, meaning that there is no eight here. I'll tidy this up later, or yeah, I may as well now. Um, notice the same sort of pattern with the white crop key dots. So the fact that there is no eight here, in my mind tells me there is no nine there either because the nine and the eight are consecutive, the six and the seven are consecutive. Just purely that, Nine is not going to be consecutive to anything else other than the eight. That's not four. Um, we need a four in here. So that gets us five and four gets us to nine. Leaving us, I'm going to say, with five more to get to it. And that's two and three from the options available. Is it? No, we can't use the one. So that's a 3-5 pair, that's a 2-4 pair, and that's 8, that's 6, that's 14, that, that all adds up. So not a 2 in here, 3-5, looking at this, that's the 1, that's the 3, therefore that's the 1. That's probably the end of all the easy bits, I suspect. Where else do we go from here? 
I don't think I've missed anything else that I need to tidy up. We know one and four is not in this row, but I mean, we kind of knew that anyway with what we pencil mark in the 10. Uh, yeah, well, actually, we can do a bit more. These run of three black crop key dots. So you're probably familiar with this already, but just quickly for any new viewers that we have on the channel, these are all the valid black crop key dots that we have available to us. Now, you can either have a run of from one, two, four, and eight, or three and six. And then you have the non-black crop key dots, five, seven, and nine, which clearly cannot be on any of these as it either be a half, you know, seven would be 3.5 or seven would be 14 to be in a two to one ratio. Now, whenever you end up with a three, a run of three black crop key dots or more, you know that it's gotta be not three, six, otherwise you'll be three, six, three, and we're repeating the digit. So it's not three, six, this is two, four, one, two, four, eight, one, four, eight. Well, without the two, is all of that valid? I'm not, I doubt it. Eight, four, two is not valid anymore, so that's not eight. But we can do it the other way around. Eight, four, two, this way around. Now, that also means two and four are out. Yeah, there's no way of completing this triplet without the two and the four. It's just a question of whether it's joined by a one or an eight. And you can see another two, four pair in here, forcing us to put, not only is the four up there, I think we've got a two next to it. Now the four, this could still be a four, eight pair and a two. So it's not necessarily a given that this is a two, four pair. Very highly likely though. What we also know is this has to be the three, six now, because we've used one, two, and four, sorry, or two, four, and eight. We don't really have a pair left anymore, so that's gotta be three, six. And let me just lose these. We don't, that's not gonna work. Three and six means this is not a six. We kind of have the same setup up here, which is the six, seven are paired, the eight, nine are paired. So if that's not a six, that can't be a seven. So we know the remaining digits in column eight are five, seven, nine, and then one of one or eight. We know that there is an eight up here. Therefore, there is no eight down there. No nine on this side as a result. Do I need the corner pencil marks? Not really. So I can't put eight up here. I can't put one up here. So the one and eight is in this cell. And this is a run of five, seven, and nine. Yep, yeah, because none of these can be one or eight. Not the one, not the eight. Five, seven, nine removes seven as an option in here, meaning we remove the six as an option in there. Seven, nine pair, no seven and therefore no six. Are we able to do more? So now this is two, four, well, we now know where the two, four is because it's joined with a three, and we can actually place another digit in here. Take a look at two and four, well, more importantly, two, two, that's not a two, that's an eight, that's a two. Ah, this is gonna give us loads now. Six, eight, seven, nine, nine, not eight. Therefore, this is not nine, this is not seven. Oh, no, kind of nothing said about that one. Um, do we know anything else? No, we know that eight is down here. Not hugely useful just yet. Anything else? I think we don't have a problem with this being one or eight. It's not causing us any issues. Three and six, yeah, not really. Two, four, eight, eight is still really possible here, or, yeah. And one, two, four could be in either direction. So I haven't really eliminated options there. Got one, eight, and seven, nine, and we're joined with a five in here. Yeah, I'm not 
could a pencil mark any of these? They're not helpful. Right now. Being a little bit quiet because I'm just thinking around what's next. It may be that I need to think about the 36 cases next. Um, I don't think I can avoid it. I can see two, two, forcing me to put a two somewhere in there. And because of that, you know, that two being on a white crop key dot, I just, on a 36 cage in six cells, I kind of doubt it. So let's think about 36. So we've got four cells. The maximum we can get to is 30. Now, the next maximum digit we can add to this is 35, which is adding the five to make five digits. So, and then the next one after that would be a four that gets us to 39 instead of 36. So we only have three degrees of freedom. Now, I appreciate those three degrees of freedom can mean that, you know, the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that four could be as low as one and would still work. It's just this white crop key dot. I don't think this would work because the two implies that there is a three or a one. So best case scenario, there's a two and three. That gets us to five plus the 30 of nine, eight, seven, and six. That's 35, that's not enough. So the two cannot be here. The two must be here. And now we have one of one and four in there. One or four, not two or four. So the 36 cage is actually quite restricted. Now let's think about what are the mandatory digits in there. So I think there is a lot more of them than may catch the eye. So there's only three degrees of freedom. I think that means nine, eight, and seven have to be part of it. Let me think about this. So if I add nine and eight and six, just ignore the seven for a second, um, and six, so six, seven, no, not seven, eight, nine. Next set of digits would be five, four, and three. So that's 12, that's 14, which is 26, plus the nine, that's 35. So we're one short. So nine, eight, and seven have to be in there, which gets us to 24. And then we need three digits that add up to 12. So that's true for this cage, but equally it's true for this cage as well. So three digits that add up to 12. Is it 12? No, three digits that add up to nine. You know, kind of 36, 45 is the total because we add up all the digits of one through to nine. That gets us to 45. Take away the 36. We're left with three digits that must add up to nine. And there isn't that many ways of getting to nine necessarily. We need to have one or two or both in there. What about the 24? So these are actually relatively low digits. If three of them are adding up to nine, the maximum I can make this would be one and two and six to get to eight. And eight means that these at a minimum are 16, which would be seven, nine, but notice they're joined with a white crop key dot. So 16 doesn't work. This has to be 17. That's eight and nine. And there you go. We're making some progress again. So that's eight and nine. We need now to get to, so that's 17. These two digits need to be seven. Plus this one needs to get to nine. So that's a two again. That's another one, four. That's not a two anymore. 
We need to have a two in the in this run because it's either one two four or two four eight. This is the only place for the two, and eight is not possible. And now this is the eight. Fabulous puzzle. Fabulous puzzle. One four one four eight nine six. Looking at the three, I was probably there for a while. Um, what do we need to finish the row? Five is the only option left. We need one and nine in here, and you know whatever is left in there is even worth it. May as well six, seven, and eight. I believe that's not an eight. Um, I still want to focus on this. So we still need to have two digits that add up to seven. Now one six appears to be available. Two five clearly is not available. And three six, sorry, three four seems to be available. So this is either one six or three four. Although I actually have this is not one or four. And presumably as a result this is not two or six. So yeah, one six or two four. That's the only order it can be in. Uh, look at this. Um, 36 cage, we've already proven it. Needs 90, 9, 8, and 7. 9 and 8 are not here. 9 is clearly not going to be in the middle of a white Kropke dot run. Where Although these two digits are in separate boxes, remember they're still inside a killer cage, so they have to be different. So that's the 9, that's the 8, and therefore this is the 7. And we've placed 24, and we need another 12 again. Is this giving us anything? It's giving us the 1 and the 9. Do we have anything else that we can place? No. Got a 1-4 pair here. We should probably take a look at this in a second because it's not 1-9, it's not 2-8. Could be 3-7 and it could be 4-6. And again, because of these 1-4, it sort of also includes an ordering on this. Let's, but let me just think about, well, maybe box 5 is the right place to be. So we've already placed 3 and 5. We have here, I think, 1, 4, and 7. And the 7 is placed, and this is 1 and 4. Brilliant. Probably know a lot of these digits, but... I'm more interested in 36 cage right now, personally. So, 12, so, well, 12 plus the 7, we're already at, um, 12 plus the 7, we're already at 19, plus the 17, so 19 and 17, that's 29, that's 36. Yeah, of course, 9 and 8. It's just 9 and 8 here. So same thing here. We need to get to 9 in um, 3 cells. So if that's 4, this would need to be 5, which I think breaks. Because 1, 4, not available. We already used the 4. 3, 2, not available because the 2 is down here. So this has to be 1. That's a 4, that's a 1. Shame because it doesn't actually help us resolve the 2, 4. And now we need 2 digits that get us to 8. This can only be 3, 5, I'm going to assert. That's a bit of a deadly pattern here. Wondering if I made a mistake. I think that's the only option. 8, 9, 36. And I assume whatever digits are left now, which are 4, 6, 6, and 2, that is 12, plus the 7, 8, 9, which is 24, that is 36. 2 would require 1 or 3 on this white croquis dot. It is not 2. Well, this is not 6. Um, that's a 2, 4 pair. That's okay. 2, 4, 6 run. That's okay as well. So either 2, 3, or 4, 5. Does that help us at all? 
we think about the 4. So the 4 would require a 5 because 3 is already placed. So that's a 5, 5, not 6. The 6 could either be a 5 or a 7. There's no other option. I'm blind. 2 and 3 pair, that's a 4, that's a 6, that's a 2. Uh, that 6 means it's still 5 or 7, but it's not an 8 for sure. And yeah, that will help us resolve loads now. 4 is joined with a 5, the 2 is joined with a 3, that's a 5, that's a 3, and that's almost all three central boxes completed. This 2 here, when did I complete this 2? How did I ever think that this could be a 2? Well, it's 1, 6 to get to 7, or it's never 2, it's 3. I must have, yeah, I mistyped that. And have I actually resolved any of it? This 4 tells us the order. Yeah, that's 1. That's 6. That's 7. That's 4. That's 1. These are not 7. And we have two digits now to place here, which is 3 and 5. We know the order of that. 5 when a, an X is never going to work because that would require a double 5. That's a 5. That's a 3. That's a 7. And we can probably pencil mark this now. So we've got one, two, three. We need a four. It can only be in here because of this four. And we need eight and nine now to complete this box. No, not eight. Pay attention, sleuth. Six, six and nine. That looks right. Uh, six and nine, and we need a three, which gives us, yeah, three, one, four, four, to surprisingly that's still five seven or nine but okay we still need a one which can only be in one spot we need five and six which are unresolved seemingly five six and seven in here that's six or seven typical still not resolved five nine means there we go we've actually got a resolution now five seven six five six nine well not quite a resolution five seven or eight that's five or eight and this is seven or eight and unresolved as far as i could tell unless i'm missing something right um we need to place well let's just Put down all the options and tidy up. So three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Um, where can nine go? These are not nine, three, or five. That's four, seven, eight. There's a four definitely in here. We know where the four is. Certainly made it harder for myself penciling them all in. Seven or eight um, will be joined with something, but let me just get rid of all the fours. Let me get rid of the three in here. Yeah, we can place the three as well. Not five, not seven either. That's an eight or nine. We need a five in here. A five can't join a seven or eight. That's the five. And this is seven, eight or nine. Now there's definitely a nine up here. Sorry, in this column. So that's an 8, that's a 9. Which shockingly hasn't helped much. Um, what am I missing? So there's definitely an 8 to join whatever it is, 7 or 9. So that's not an 8, that's a 9. That's a 6, 9, 8, 6. Leaving 7 and 8. And surely that now resolves. I must be blind. Um, how is that 5, 7 and that 7, 8? Yeah, the 8 here. 8. 5, 8. And I've not made any mistakes. 7. And that's a solution for the puzzle. Um, I don't know if I'm just, you know, I was playing a lot better than normal today. But I've 
we've definitely I've definitely had puzzles that are one star difficulty rating that have taken me more than 24 minutes so um, I'm delighted with this um, that was a much easier solution than I expected now despite solving I'm still not getting the reference to brick house so still looking forward to your comments really looking forward to it uh, Mr. Willpower, phenomenal work as always. Can't believe you've had so many constructions already. So um, I'll continue to peruse your catalog and look through your recommendations and maybe not feel so intimidated by the two-star difficulties. Um, they are clearly achievable and within the reach, I think, of most of the viewers of this channel. Hope you enjoyed today's video and see you in the next one. Bye for now.